Is this the end of John Jones? UFC's most dominant champion, the fighter who's been untouchable for over a decade, might be walking away for good after UFC 309. John Jones has been dominating the UFC for over a decade, and now, heading into UFC 309, we might actually be seeing the end of his legendary career. His upcoming fight against Stipe Miocic isn't just any matchup, it's one that could close the book on one of the greatest runs we've ever seen in the sport. Let's rewind a bit to understand what this fight means. After cleaning out the light heavyweight division, John took a step back in 2020. He vacated his belt, and fans everywhere were left wondering, will we ever see him back in the octagon? Well, after three years of preparation, Jones finally returned, and not just for any fight, he took on Cyril Gain and won the heavyweight title in his debut. That fight was huge, especially since he was stepping into the octagon after such a long time. But that three-year gap wasn't just a break. John has hinted over and over that he's achieved almost everything he set out to do. I think the Stipe fight will be plenty for me. I feel like I don't really have much to prove after beating Stipe Miocic. I've been in the game for a long time and fighter years. I'm an old guy. And I've been training for a long time, been in the game for a long time and, you know, got some small injuries and I just really want to be around. I want to be around for my family. I want to be around for my kids. I want to be able to play with my kids and have a good head on my shoulders and joints that work. And so, yeah, I can see it coming to an end really soon. And, uh, and I'm happy with that. I'm really proud of my career. Facing Miocic means everything to John right now. Miocic is considered by many to be the best heavyweight champion the UFC has ever seen. He's defended his title more than anyone in the division, with wins over legends like Daniel Cormier and Francis Nyanu. For John, fighting someone of Miocic's caliber is exactly the kind of challenge he wants, especially if it might be his last. But here's the thing, fans are eager to see more. They want John to face Tom Aspinall. Aspinall's got this powerful, technical striking and a ground game that makes him one of the most exciting heavyweights right now, and fans are dying to see how he'd match up with John. But here's where it gets interesting. John's been pretty clear that he's not interested. If you defeat him, will you defend your belt against Aspinall, who has the interim title? More than likely not. More than likely not. I feel like Tom Aspinall is, uh, I don't want to say nobody. He just hasn't proven anything. He hasn't done anything. And I, mm. and I, I understand that. I mean, he won his belt against Sergey. Sergey just got slaughtered by someone else. So it's just like, I'm not here to gamble someone else making a name off of me. I'm here to compete against the guys where when we look back, you know, 10 years from now, you know, it'd be like John Jones fault this guy and that guy and this legend and this champion and this champion. Now, if John doesn't retire after Miocic, there's one name he's hinted at, Alex Pereira. Uh, if, if there were to be a fight of a guy that's still on our UFC roster that would be um, not only financially worth it, but legacy worth it, it would be Alex Pereira. Miocic, though, is the fight that seems to call to him. It's a way to go out facing the best heavyweight of his generation. And if you're John, what better way to close out an incredible career than by fighting someone who represents the top of the division? So, what do you think? Will UFC 309 be John Jones' last fight? Will he walk away after Miocic? Or is there one more challenge? Maybe even Pereira waiting down the line? Let's hear your thoughts below.